All right, I finally got the second package for my Iron Man MK43. Unfortunately, I'm in a huge rush for Halloween weekend. Um, doing lots of modifications to the suit, so uh, this is going to be really short. If I misspeak, whatever, I'm not going to bother going back over and redoing it. But let's see what we got here for the second part of the suit. Attempt to be a little bit better at getting parts in the screen so you guys can see them. Oh, thanks for the love of God. I was so scared. When I first got the, the package, it only had one shoe in it. So um, I am very happy that I have both shoes so I can work on that. All right, second shoe. Iron Man, looks like we got the Mark III box. Oops. Okay. Well, this is the this is Mark 43. So let's hope they just used the box because uh, that would be the wrong helmet. Okay. Looks like it comes bottom section. Okay. Well, and now I have looks like appears to be some wiring. In the bag. Let's get this out of the way. Okay. All right. Yeah, this is definitely the Mark 43. So they just used the box. And here we go. Here's the helmet. All right. Looks like it comes. It's just a padding. Yep. And then padding is loosely put in there okay and then here are all the electronics interesting is that a okay so I'm gonna have to figure out how to put these things all together but looks like it has the hinges and also has an LED lights in the eyes so I can light that sucker up and things are falling out all right, these are looks like some battery packs. All right. Okay, I don't want to mess with that servo. Next up, looks like we got the gloves. Ooh, okay. Well, just for the hell of it, on camera. I know I was going to do an actual fitting video and what I did and modifications on... Ooh, that is tight. And there's the... Hmm. Just wondering how that's supposed to light up. Hmm. Well... I have large slash extra large hands, so just to give you an idea in terms of sizing, I usually take a large minimum. Oh, that's tight. Okay. That actually is pretty neat. Actually, that is much better than uh, the other model that I saw online. Gloves a little tight, so if you have a if you take a medium glove, oh man, this thing will fit so good for you. But as I said, I take a large, I can't even, so it'll be a little tight on you. And, looks like the uh, glove is kind of like a mesh net. Oh. All right, second glove. Looking good. Okay. Let's see what else I pull out here. Um, hmm. Well, I have a 501st movie accurate stormtrooper suit, so 
I have a feeling I'll try this on, but I have a feeling I'm going to be wearing my custom jumpsuit for that, from that suit, so, instead of that one. It looks a little like it runs a little large. I'll see. I'll put it on. I'll, I'll do a video of it. Mm. They rolled this thing in bubble wrap. Okay. There we go. All right. Next up, everything's crammed into the into the chest plate. Be nice and. Careful. Let's just gut all this out so I can go over all the pieces. All right. So, looks like there's a little clear piece over here. Uh, and looks like the arc reactor needs to be glued. Looks like the glue failed on this sucker. But, should look very pretty when it's done. We have the front section, the sides, the back is all one piece. I imagine you probably could get some options for the flaps. Like their competition, if you put in a request. And looks like we got the Velcro to hold on the shoulders. Mm, looks like a little damage here, but there we go. Let's try that on. Next up, looks like we got bicep. Nothing special. Good Velcro on the outside. Another bicep. Now it looks like, ooh, this is gonna be interesting. Uh, looks like this goes for the armpit. Let's see how that goes. And looks like here's the neck, neck piece. I will say from my modifications and uh, my little work in progresses I'll be doing, uh, unfortunately I'm rushing everything because of Halloween. Um, it is really good to do some black panel lining on this suit. It really makes the suit stand out. All right, next up, what do we got here? Oh, these must be the shoulders. Okay. I almost feel like if you added a little like grime paint wash to this to kind of give it like an oil feel and some of the mechanical joints would really bring out the details in this kit. All right. All right, little shoulders, little Velcro on the bottom. I've been opting to change out a lot of the Velcro uh, just because it's a little on the weaker side for like more of the industrial strength that can handle like, you know, 10 pounds plus. Uh, that way I don't have to worry about things falling off when I'm out and about. Next up, oh, what we got here? Rubbery. Oh, wow, okay. So all the joints that are exposed, you get like this little rubber for your, your joints. Hmm. And looks like it's Velcro, well, no, elastic. And uh, looks like that'll cover up yeah, the back of your knees. Got two of those. And then looks like you also have ones for your biceps. It looks like the old same size, but yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, okay, so you get four of those. Oh, nope, one goes a little bit bigger. All right, what else we got here? Random battery, okay. Thing for your head. And finally, my missing forearm. All right, so and I'm planning on modifying this. I found that 
Well, this is actually this arm, but I found that you can't do any kind of pose ability. You can't move your arm out or anything. Um, you can put your arm down, but um, what would be really good would be to cut this off and the sections and then using uh, like elastic, um, just putting elastic bands underneath this to, so it can bend and then putting a little Velcro piece on the top of the glove. Which actually looks like I got one on one of them. Looks like that was the whole train of thought, what originally I guess they might have thought they were going to do. Um, yeah, you put that on the glove, good to go. And then you can bend your arm, bend it up and everything. But uh, must have fell through at the last minute in terms of what they were planning on doing. Because, uh, yeah, there is no Velcro there. All right, and that is it. Um, I'm very happy to have gotten this kit. Um, a little sour about how late it was and the delays in the shipment. Um, even though I put my order in so early, if they had started on it earlier, um, I would have a lot more time to decently review this kit and uh, to actually do a lot of modifications to make it to where I wouldn't have any problems tonight and for Halloween for the trick-or-treaters that are coming. Um, plus, I also want to do some cosplay in it and I think it would be kind of fun. But um, with that being said, uh, I'm going to get to work on this suit and then I'll do a future fitting review and uh, modifications review. So that's it. Till next time. Later.